as Modi heads to Tokyo, is India-Japan nuclear deal likely to happen soon? Why Japan is hesitating slightly to extend nuclear cooperation for India? How would the deal be viewed in India? How the deal would impact India's energy security? What are the concerns among Indians to depend much on nuclear energy? Is that a concern or a myth? GS Paper 2, Bilateral, Regional and Global Groupings and Agreements Involving India and Affecting India's Interests What is the context about? India-Japan relations have deepened faster than expected since 2006, when the two countries signed the Strategic Partnership Agreement. Interestingly, in the same year they agreed in their joint statement that, nuclear energy can play an important role as a safe, sustainable and non-polluting source of energy. Now it is expected to give finishing touches to the text of civil nuclear cooperation, ahead of a summit meeting between India and Japan in Tokyo. Why Japan is hesitating slightly to extend nuclear cooperation for India. India maintains a voluntary moratorium on nuclear testing. That is why India has refused to sign on to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT, the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty CTBT, or given any other undertaking outside of its commitments at the International Atomic Energy Agency. Japan being the only country to have suffered a nuclear attack has special sensitivities, that India may need to make an exception for, despite India's insistence on nuclear sovereignty. Another factor is that although India has a guaranteed supply of nuclear fuel, all planned reactors including those from France and the US and other than existing Russian reactors depend largely on Japanese parts. And many other planning reactors are held up until the India-Japan nuclear deal is cleared. Japan has clearly said that if India conducts a nuclear test, Japan shall stop its cooperation for India. How would the deal be viewed in India? The deal may also ignite the debate about using nuclear technology within India. In the past, various groups have urged the Indian leadership to take cue from the Fukushima nuclear crisis and not install nuclear reactors. How the deal would impact India's energy security? At present nuclear energy constitute only 3% of the energy mix. Meanwhile in India, we are not generating even 5000 megawatts of nuclear power from the total of about 150 gigawatts of electricity generation, most of it coming from coal. The study indicates that most of the prosperous nations are extracting about 30-40% of power from nuclear power, and it constitutes a significant part of their clean energy portfolio. Since India does not fall under the same seismic zone as Japan, it still can consider using nuclear energy for its overall energy mix. What are the concerns among Indians to depend much on nuclear energy? Is that a concern or a myth? The bigger concern is nuclear risks. While accidents are unfortunate, one must also acknowledge the advancement of national and international capabilities to manage nuclear emergencies now. Another argument which surrounds the nuclear debate is that nuclear accidents and the radiation fall out. The strongest case of human exposure and destruction due to radiation is, without argument, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki nuclear bombings of 1945. These are the only two occasions when nuclear force was intentionally developed and deployed to kill human life. If available facts and scientific inquiry was given more weightage than mere conjectures and comic bookish imagination, this argument will in all probability be proved a myth. 